Hey everyone, it's Keely. Um, you're probably already wondering, what is she wearing? She looks like crap. And I gotta tell you, I'm wearing a scarf today. Not only does it hide the neck fat pretty well, it is helping my throat. As you can tell, maybe you can't tell, but I am sick. So I don't know which one of you gave me the karma, but I got sick on like my fourth day recording videos. I promised my husband I would not record a video today, so this is gonna have to be between me and you, because he's not gonna know about this video. I promised him I wouldn't record a video and that I would just sleep and be in bed, but I'm not gonna do that because I wanted to tell you guys about something I got in the mail. Um, I actually got it in the mail about two days ago and I forgot about it until last night. Um, I found it again and I was super excited. So I was like, you know what? I don't care if I'm Ferris Bueller sick. Like the real, if he would have really been sick. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm dying. I don't care about that. I'm still going to put a face on and record a video. So you're welcome. I hope all the doesn't bother you because I'm just sick. You're just going to have to live with it. Anyhow, I am a fan of getting free shit as everyone is probably. And there was a period in my life about two weeks ago where I got hired at a job and then I got like let go like three days later. It's a long story and it's not my fault. I'm not a bad person. I didn't like steal something. It just didn't work out. So I was in a really sad depressive state and when normal people get depressed they like watch the notebook and eat ice creams but I don't do that. I go online and enter sweepstakes. So I'm psychotic and I decided to create a Gmail account just for entering sweepstakes because you don't want that spam shit coming to your real email address. So I created a whole new website or a whole new email address and I went crazy. I probably entered like 75 to 1,100 million sweepstakes and I figured if the more you enter, the more you have a chance of winning, right? Well, that's so not true. I didn't win jack shit. I won nothing. I spent two whole days of my life entering sweepstakes, and literally I didn't win anything. So what I did find out, though, is if you go on Facebook and you look up your favorite brands or, like, your favorite designers or your favorite companies and you like their pages, sometimes they give away free stuff. Now, I hate having my news feed just ads. It bothers me to death. So that's my dog. Sorry. His name's Chico. I'll show you him later. He's just, he's absolutely ridiculous. Won't go into that right now. Like I was saying, if you like certain pages on Facebook, they'll send you free stuff. Well, I don't like my newsfeed being bombarded, so I don't like to do that. But there are a few companies that I was like, all right, I'll just hide you later. I'm not going to follow you I feel like a corporate tool when I do that. So <laughs> on one of the sweepstakes, there was a link for free stuff. And like I said, I'm a queen of free. So I decided to like Nivea's page. And Nivea, if you don't know, is like a lotion company. I could be saying that totally wrong. So if you're Nivea, Mr. Nivea, I apologize. Okay, I don't know. I'm just a regular white person. I have no idea what I'm saying. Anyway, Nivea for me is... A very love-hate thing because a long time ago when I was in high school my mom well my aunt mom it's a whole nother video my mom went to Greece she came back she brought a bunch of stuff back with her and one of the things she brought was some Nivea lotion and at the time I had never experienced anything like it before it was so luxurious it felt like I was rubbing like cream cheese on my arms. It was deliciously awesome. So I fell in love with Nivea then, but at the, that time they didn't sell the, the products here in the US. So I, it like went away for a while. Well, uh, like eventually when I grew up and became an adult, I found it again. And I've, I'm obsessed with their products. I love all their lotions. I probably have around six bottles half used lying around. I love their products. So I didn't mind liking their Facebook page, no big deal. Well. They had a contest going. It still might be going. You can check it out. I don't know. But if you post a picture of yourself kissing something, nothing gross probably, they'll send you a free sample of their new chapstick, lip butter stuff. 
So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. So I did it and I forgot about it. And I've been getting their news feeds, but I've just been ignoring them because I totally actually forgot about this. Well, I got something in the mail about two days ago and it was some coupons, which I was a little bit like, come on, what are you doing? Why are you sending me coupons? I was supposed to be getting free shit. So they sent me some coupons, dollar off for their lotions, yay. Even though I have 10 million lotions, all from Victoria's Secret that I've never used, I just buy because they're on sale, I can just add it to my collection, great. But there was a coupon, you don't get to see it because I already used it. There was a coupon for a free Nivea chapstick lip butter balm thing, okay? So I was super excited, I forgot about it, but then last night, I went to good old CVS, my go-to, to see if they had it. And being a very intelligent human being, I went to cosmetics because I thought, it's lip stuff. It's going to be in the lip stuff. It wasn't in the lip stuff. It was in the lotions. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But I don't say, oh, man, my lips are chapped. I'm going to go buy some hand lotion. It makes no sense. Anyhow, whatever, CVS. Get your, get your game together. Seriously. So I found it in the lotion section, and on the coupon, it showed like six different types. So I was super excited because they had a lip plumper one, and as you can tell, I have the lips of a bird. I have very small, tiny lips. If I was to kiss an actual bird, its beak would envelop my whole face. That's how small my lips are. So I was super excited to try the lip plumper one, and what do you know, they didn't have it. But they did have this Kiss of Shimmer. So, did I do it right? Yeah. Kiss of Shimmer, Nivea. And I'll, I'll open it and I'll do a little demo for you. But I want to give you some story. Because you know how much I love to talk. So feel free to skip to the end if this bothers you. Well, the little story is, I get it, I'm excited. They don't have the plumper one, I'll settle for this one. They actually had a lighter version, like a lighter pink, if you can believe that. But I'm not a child, I'm a grown adult. I need darker pink stuff now. So I chose to go with this darker pink, went up to the counter, gave the clerk my coupon, and I looked at her like, yeah, it's free. I'm just a G like that. But she looked back at me and said, you have to pay sales tax. I was like, are you kidding me, California? Get it together. So I paid the 23 cents, which in my mind, I'm thinking my bank's gonna look at that and say, whoa. She's made some really crazy life choices if she's spending 23 cents at CVS. What is she buying? So besides the paying the 23 cents, get in the car, I'm going home, and I just start itching to try it because I can't do that. I can't buy something and then wait. I have currently around six chapsticks open. I just do, and they're all over the place. But I figured, what's one more to add to the collection? So as I'm driving, I'm trying to open the package. It's not coming off. It's really hard to get into this thing. I don't understand why. But it was incredibly hard to get off. I almost killed myself. Luckily, my child wasn't in the car. I'm a responsible parent. I'm just a horrible driver. So I decided to wait till I get home so I don't kill anyone. Come home, open it up. It just looks like a regular old chapstick. A little dollar store-ish, if you ask me. I mean, it was free. Who cares? Well, 23 cents. So then I look at it. Okay, you get pretty good. You get a pretty good amount. It looks nice. Shimmer, huh? Okay, so I put it on. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in the video. But when I, and I also already have chapstick on. Actually, it looks pretty good. Maybe I should, like, redo this video. It looks pretty good over my already existing chapstick. I don't know. Anyhow, I don't know if you saw that, but I had to put it up quite a bit to get it because if you try to just to do it a little tiny bit, this little white ring of death will scrape your lip. So as you're putting it on, you're taking it off too. It's really stupid. Don't know why they did that. So you have to kind of lift it up a little bit, which we all know what happens when that happens, especially in the warmer months. Let's say you're at a bar and you're accidentally drunk you put it up to put it on and boom, it's off. It's going to flop off and it's ruined. Don't want that to happen, but that's what you have to do with this little guy. You have to really crank it up a notch to, to get any out. And like I said, it looks good now, but when I put it on with no lipstick on before, it looked like I had been getting into like the birthday cake or eating Frosted Flakes. 
It's a frost. They say shimmer, but it's not a shimmer. It's a frost. So if you want to look frosted, it's your thing. If you don't want to look frosted, don't buy it. Because it literally looks like I was taking icing or eating an Oreo, just the centerpiece, you know. So anyhow, my review, I guess I would say it's okay. It, like I said, it was free. If you can get it for free, go get it. And they also have other flavors. Flavor's not the right word. They also have other types, like honey, menth, menthol. I don't, that's like a cigarette. Menth, they're, you know, it tastes like peppermint. Um, they have other flavors, but me being a girl and seeing the sparkly pink shimmer, I was like, yeah, I gotta have that one. So I'm, I'm glad I got it, but I wouldn't probably buy it. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, that's my review. I actually feel a lot better. So maybe it cured me. I'm not sure. But this is my longest video to date. And I promised myself I would try to keep it under five minutes and that just didn't happen. So hopefully you guys don't mind all the rambling. And if you're interested, go to their Facebook page and they'll send you free coupons. There's also a couple other sites that I signed up for um, that give away free stuff. I'll, I'm going to post some links to some free sites that I go to that where you can go and create a fake email address and sign up for free stuff and have it mailed to your house or P.O. Box or whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I'm sick. Um, hopefully I'll be over it by tomorrow's video, um, but I can't guarantee anything. So thank you again and please keep watching.